Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. In this one we are going to look at how to procedurally generate all these types of trees within uh, a couple of clicks of your mouse. Uh, it's very very easy. Let me show you how I did it. And it's basically using the package that I created some time ago, uh, which is called Blendity. It basically uses Blender instance behind the scene uh, to create stuff for you. In this case it's going to be trees. And there are uh, there is one uh, previous tutorial on how to create uh, fracture objects from any uh, FBX uh, model that you have. So if you want to check that out, go back and see it. But uh, to add this package, you can download it from the link in the description from the HIO uh, website, and then you go to Package Manager, you click on the plus sign and add package from tarball and just navigate to that file and then it will be added in your packages after that you will have this let me create a new folder and after that you will have this additional entry here which has generate spaceships uh, are also um, an older uh, thing that you can generate procedurally uh, you can also watch the previous uh, video to see the result of this guy. Um, but for now we are going to generate trees, which will open this model for you. You can choose how many trees you want. Let's say we want four. And then there are these uh, different types of trees. You can choose whichever you would like. Um, I think there are nine different types of trees. Some of them has uh, 2000 uh, triangles or polygons and um, five so all of them has two and five some of them has ten and I think some of them has fifteen maybe maybe somewhere um, the beauty and I'm gonna show you how to create your own if you would like to do so so let's uh, create the Japanese maple for example and let's say let's keep generate LODs and it will do its magic and it will generate for you four different uh, models of four different trees as you can see it will also generate this materials uh, uh, folder which has two materials one is for the bark of the tree and you can choose the bark texture and for the leaves you can choose um, I, I am using for for this scene I'm using uh, this nature and speed 3 8 I found it to be very nice and then you can choose the leaf tree uh, maybe enable some subsurface reduce the amount go to red and add hue variation and you will see that all of these go to them oh we are not in the scene here we have our trees that's one two three and four beautifully procedural trees and all of them has LODs which means if you go back it will load something uh, with less poly count you can do well, actually, you can you can visualize it just by clicking here and here and here, right? Anyway, so it's uh, it's that easy, right? Obviously, if you have a materials uh, folder with the same material uh, naming as these two, it will just reuse them rather than. Uh, clearing them or creating from scratch uh, but yeah that's 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 about it that's um, that's the feature what you can uh, do is you can right click if, if you would like to create your own template of uh, a tree you can right click on the blendity uh, folder and show in explorer then you can go inside uh, go inside the blender file or folder and run blender And then from here, you can do add, 
curve sapling tree gen which is what I'm using basically and you can find the presets remove this limit import and you can find the same presets here and you can start from one of them or you can start from uh, the uh, original presets um, let's say this one right and then you can go let's say to the leaves and increase the number of leaves and then you can go back to geometry rename it to something new and export preset and that alone would add this new preset to uh, Unity. You can use that this new preset that you created inside of Unity. That's exactly how I made all of these presets, basically. All right, the other somewhat new features that I didn't show before. Um, I believe, so they are unwrap model. So for example, if we have these two Let's remove this stuff. If we have these two here um, and we uh, choose some material that has a texture, um, let's choose this one for example. Let's uh, reduce the size of the gizmos. Okay. So it's unwrapped this way, right? And then you can unwrap it in a different way. So just right click on it, go to Blendity and choose Unwrap. And I would like to unwrap it using a cube projection. Start and it will unwrap it and create a new file. And now you can see that it's unwrapped using the cube projection method. And you have all the um, the methods that Blender allows you to use. Uh, another thing is generating LODs. And you just go to make LOD. You choose how many steps of LODs you want. And what's the percentage of uh, basically the, the, the least detailed uh, one of these LODs will have 20% of the number of polygons. Ap approximately might not be exactly but yeah so let's do five percent and it will generate our LOD file and let's just add the same material now you will see that inside you have all your all your LODs so this is I guess this one this is zero this is one and this is two and this is three which has only this number of polygons and it's it's just automatic it adds all the stuff um, and you can use it immediately um, so I think that's it the uh, other two are uh, from the previous version you can watch the previous video if you'd like to see them and that's gonna be it this project is all open source you can contribute you can do whatever you want um, and the only way to support me is from HIO. If you download it, you can donate some whatever money you would like. Um, and that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and catch you in the next one.